Hey guys, welcome back to Hemlock Ridge. Today I wanted to share with you a brand new battery that I think is very, very impressive for off-grid, solar, uh, any application you need to store a lot of power. And I'm gonna be upgrading the battery and my power system in the cabin today, thanks to Temgo, uh, who is sponsoring today's video. Now, spring has finally sprung here at the cabin. It has been an unbelievably wet, cold spring. I haven't filmed in a while if you've been following the channel. And the National Weather Service actually said, we have not had one dry weekend since November of 2024, and it is now June of 2025. So uh, it is finally not raining today, and I'm here at the cabin. Uh, but all around us, uh, things are springing. We've got some baby birds, uh, pond is looking good, and it's great seeing everything come alive. Now, if you've been following the channel, I was an early adopter of lithium iron phosphate a while back, and one of the drawbacks for me was that I had to disconnect those batteries in the winter because you can't charge them below freezing or they will get ruined, and I would have to switch to a standard uh, lead-acid battery during the winter, which didn't have the capacity or the charge cycles that lithium iron phosphate did. Uh, well, a lot has changed uh, since I created that video a few years ago. And this is a beast of a battery. This is a uh, 460 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate from Temgo. And to put that into perspective, that is 5,888 watt hours of power in one battery. That is incredible. That is like taking four 100 amp hour batteries and putting them together in one box here. So this is gonna give anyone who wants one battery um, unbelievable capacity to, to store energy. And you can actually run um, up to 10 of these in parallel if you want to get uh, multiple batteries, although they do recommend about four is the ideal uh, scenario. So what's great about this battery though, is not only the capacity, again, 5,888 amp hours, but it has all the benefits that lithium iron phosphate is known for in that it is safe, it's not uh, lithium ion, it's lithium iron phosphate. Uh, secondly, you can, the depth of discharge, you can take this uh, down to nearly zero and it will not harm the battery. Uh, the amount of charge cycles uh, that lithium iron phosphate supports is incredible, thousands of charge cycles. And now this has an onboard battery management system uh, to protect against low temperature charging. So if the temperature goes below freezing, it automatically stops charging. So it protects the uh, battery, which is what happens here when I'm not here during the winter and the temperature gets cold when there's no wood, wood fire burning. Uh, and soon as the battery temperature um, rises above freezing, it will start to charge again. Uh, at the same time, it has high temperature cutoff, it has high voltage cutoff, so there's all kinds of safety features built into the battery management system, and it's all done automatically, so you can just hook it up, forget it, and again, have unbelievable amount of capacity um, in one box. Now, the downside is this does weigh a lot. This battery weighs 100.3 pounds. It is really, really heavy. You gotta be careful lifting this thing. You're not gonna be moving it around, but once you get it in a place, uh, you shouldn't have to touch it. And some other things I really like about this, really nice M8 terminals on here. It comes with two different sizes of screws. Uh, you can actually fold down the handles um, as well if you're trying to put it into a compact space. And this is actually a uh, metal cabinet with screws, so you can get in here if you want. And I'm not going to do a teardown today, but I have seen some other YouTubers who have torn these apart, and the quality is really, really good. Um, the quality and thickness of the terminal blocks is excellent. Each one of the four cells in here is replaceable. So if you ever did have a cell that went bad, you can swap it out. And what's nice though is this comes with a five-year warranty and 24-7 tech support. So if anything goes wrong with this battery in five years, they will get on the phone with you. They'll do some troubleshooting. If it can't be resolved, they will replace the battery, which is uh, fantastic. So you can uh, rest assured that this is going to, uh, to hold up for you uh, probably for much longer than five years, but at least you've got that peace of mind. Now, one of the things I really like about this is it actually has an integrated touchscreen on the uh, battery itself. And at any time, if you touch the touchscreen, it will light up and there are three pages of information. You can actually see uh, the current state of the battery in terms of the battery's voltage, uh, the remaining capacity, the time until it's discharged. 
Uh, you can then cycle through and see and turn on or off charging or discharging if you, if you like. Um, you also have the ability to look at the temperature of the battery. So that's not going to be the ambient temperature in the room, but the actual temperature of your battery. Because remember, this is really thick and dense. And if it got cold, even though you may have raised the temperature in the room, it's going to take a little bit longer for those cells to warm up so you can actually see what's happening inside here as far as temperature goes. And then lastly, you can actually see the individual voltage of each one of the four cells in here. So if something were, were to malfunction, and you're trying to troubleshoot it, you can see if there's one of the cells that is uh, not at capacity so that you would know um, how to uh, contact support about that and or replace that cell uh, if it was out of warranty. So uh, in addition to everything on the screen, I can go ahead and connect uh, my phone to this battery through Bluetooth. So it has onboard Bluetooth and monitor the battery right through my phone without having to go um, look at the screen. So all in all, they've really thought of a lot. And uh, the, the fact that it's set it and forget it, I could put it in the cabin now, leave it in here 365 days a year, no matter what the weather is, and know that the battery will uh, basically protect itself uh, if it gets too hot or too cold um, is great peace of mind. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs. Um, again, you've got 460 amp hours of capacity, 5,888 watt hours. The maximum charging or maximum discharging current is 300 amps. That is a lot. Uh, the recommended charge current, though, is 92 amps. And the maximum load uh, that you can put on this through an inverter or other means is 3,200 watts. So again, you're going to be able to pull a lot of power out of here. I mean, you could run a microwave off of this if, if you needed to as well with, with the right sized inverter. Um, and again, under 32 degrees, it's going to shut off uh, charging. Um, if it does fall below... Uh, minus 20 degrees centigrade or minus 4 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, it will shut off charging as well. And then the uh, high temperature uh, shutoff is going to be um, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, quite the range here um, as well too. So again, I'm amazed at the advances that is happening in uh, battery technology, whether it's portable uh, power stations, whether it's uh, more of a house battery for your, your cabin or your off-grid building. Um, and I think this is definitely a new contender to the market that is worth checking out because of the quality of the unit, the features, and the warranty that comes with it. Um, and less space. I don't need to have four batteries with all kinds of wiring uh, you know, to, to wire them together when I can have everything in one uh, unit here, which is more than enough power for what I need. And again, if you need more than power than this, you could go ahead and put several of these together, or uh, you can run them so you can get up to 48 volts if you're, if you're running a higher voltage system as well, too. I'll put some links in the description so you can check them out. Temgo, uh, they are online and uh, have um, a number of ways to contact them and check it out. And for now, i got to get out and uh, do some more work while the sun is shining. Um, but thanks for watching. Hope you like this update. We'll see you back here next time on Hemlock Ridge.